Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is MacGyver Backpacking. I appreciate you guys coming out, checking this out. And today, I've got some, some gear I wanted to show you guys. One specific piece of gear that I'm gonna be showing you guys today, and that is this. This is the down puff blanket from Get Out Gear. Uh, so we're gonna talk about this. I'm gonna show you guys what it is, and you guys have seen it if you've seen some of my more recent trip videos. I know it's been a while since I've had a trip video, but last trip video I had this out so we're gonna talk about it today and I'll tell you guys what I like or maybe dislike about it so let's get into it let's go alright so I've told you guys before that I get a lot of requests to review gear uh, a lot of them are from the you know the Chinese type manufacturers the cheaper stuff that's out there the things that are on Amazon and for the most part I turn them down unless something comes along that I think actually I would use or that people that subscribe to my channel would use, I'm not gonna do them. I'm just not gonna review them. I'm not gonna give them the time. But this one came along and when I actually looked at the reviews that were on the, on the, the product and the actual product specs, I was like, you know what? This actually might be something that I would use and that you guys would use. And so I took it on and I've been reviewing it and I took it out and I've used it in the field. And one of the things that I really like about it is that it's it's more than a simple down throw. And so uh, down puffy blanket, as they're calling it. And you know, it relates a lot to like a Costco down quilt. Uh, there are a few other ones out there. There's like the Eddie Bauer ones. There's there's a bunch of different ones out there, but they're all about the same. They're, they're a, you know, somewhere between a 550 and a 700 fill power, sewn through design with uh, a, a lightweight, nylon type fabric holding them together uh, so this one's not much different in that respect I do like the bag that it comes in it comes in a nice bag with a roll down closure on top uh, but you guys know I don't use the bag and so as you can see it still has the the tag on the bag itself uh, because I don't use the bag I stuff any of my quilts any of that stuff gets stuffed in the bottom of my backpack so let's open it up and see what this is now you'll see it's just a just a blanket it's just a a quilt like I said sewn through design uh, this one is 650 fill power it's got a 20d nylon shell uh, it has a DWR so it, a water repellent finish on it so uh, you can take it out and not worry too much about it getting wet you know you can spill something on it and kind of wipe it off and and be okay most of the time now I wouldn't I wouldn't take it out and use it in the rain like actually in the rain um, it's not waterproof it's not something that you'd wear as a a rain jacket now the one thing that I really like about this and you guys saw if you went back last trip video was uh, with Rain Man out on the Washita Trail and I took this as both my top quilt and I used it as my jacket uh, cool thing about it is that it has snaps on one side and you can actually put it around you and snap it up and wear it like a poncho or a jacket. Um, it has some loops in there. If you had a belt or something, you could cinch it up around you and, and use it like that as well. Um, not, how, not how I used it. I didn't use a, a belt or anything. I just kind of draped it over me and it allows you to, to snap it up and you can use your hands. I was able to cook. I was able to make coffee and, and do stuff and no problem at all. So let's take a look at how big this thing is. Okay, so as you can see, it's it's actually a, a pretty good size quilt. Uh, you know, it's taller. I'm, I'm about 5'8". It's taller than me. So I can use it as a quilt, no problem. It goes over me, full coverage for those cooler nights. Um, and it's, it's plenty wide. I mean, you can see right here, it's pretty wide. Now if I was to hold it up, it comes about, you know, two thirds of the way up me width wise. Uh, but what I liked about it were these snaps that are on here. What those snaps allow you to do is to wear it. So uh, you can actually put it around you like this. Snap it up. I'm not going to snap it up now. It's a little bit warm. And wear it. And then kind of have your hands free to do whatever. And so it's one of those dual purpose. You know, I really like the dual purpose products that you can take out there. So take this out there on those nights when you don't have a puffy with you, but you want something, uh, you think it might get a little bit cool, so you need a, a quilt, 
but you don't want to carry the extra weight of a jacket and so this can do dual purpose and cover you that way let's go talk about the weight and packability of it all right so it packs down pretty small as you can see here and you could actually if you had the compression you could actually really compress this down even smaller uh, not quite the size of a softball a little bit bigger um, but for what you get the coverage the thing is advertised to be 1.1 pounds this one weighs in on my scale at 16.7 ounces so just a, a hair under what they what they list if you're rounding then it's 1.1 um, so and that's with it in the sack I'm not going to use that so you could probably drop it down and it's under a pound and that's what I would take with me out on the trail and that's what I did take with me out on the trail and it served dual purpose it was a blanket it was also a poncho to keep me warm on that morning so really did serve a good purpose now price wise the down comes in at just about $70 and then I think it's right at $60 for a synthetic version now I expect the synthetic version is not going to pack down quite as small but it is going to give you a little bit better wet performance so if it was to get wet if you did uh, accidentally wear it out in the rain the synthetics probably going to do you a little bit better than the down would but for me this was a great piece of gear now this is one of those things because it doesn't cost a lot it isn't one of those like 200 300 cottage vendor pieces of equipment that i'd be scared to take with me out on a trip where you know there's going to be uh anything like uh, branches that are in a, a tight tight campsite where you know things may snag on things uh the other thing that i use this for is i actually take it with me when we have soccer games when it's a little bit cooler take this and you can use this to keep yourself warm uh, i've used my costco down quilts in the same manner um, so it was something i was looking for for that and so really great versatile little piece of gear uh go ahead and check them out they are on Amazon, and I will leave the link in the description down below. Guys, if you like this, if you like my gear review videos, let me know. Let me know what you want to see. I've got a lot more coming up. So next up will be, uh, I've got some, I've got another hammock. I've got a hammock chair. I've got some other quilts, some very high-end quilts uh, that we will be talking about. So make sure you guys come back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. When you do, a little bell icon will pop up. If you hit that, you'll get notifications every time we upload a video and you won't miss any of the cool videos I've got coming up. Thanks a lot for checking us out, guys. I will see you down the trail.